rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Good evening, guys. Good evening to you. Good evening. Welcome to a random vlog. Vlog, you call it? No. A random live. Live. Mars, good evening. Mystery, good evening to you. This is a go to meal for my uncle. <laughs> Your uncle knows good food. Trust me, he knows good food. So go ahead and give us a thumbs up now before we get into the meat of the matter. This is very random, was not planned. I feel like the thing needs to clean. Hold a sec. Tell them some not talk. Yeah. You're not talking? <laughs> well, my face shine like I can see it. But anyway, you guys, so this is another dinner a hack. The, the last one we showed you guys how so we did a quick stir fry rice um, dish with our leftovers. If you haven't seen that one, go check it out. So today, we have some chicken on hand, some rotisserie chicken on hand. And for, this is for my busy people, my working people. You're going to show them? Who, I'm talking to them first. This is for my busy people who you don't have the time to necessarily come home take out the, the chicken out the fridge cut up the chicken season up the chicken cook you know you don't have time for all that drama so tell them we're gonna get the chicken this chicken you can get well let me show you the chicken first of all all right so we have our juicy rotisserie chicken here and this one Williams Club. Of course, there's a number of um, supermarkets that prepare this type of rotisserie chicken. Publix does it, Walmart does it, a lot of people do it. So, we got this one from Sam's, and we're gonna go ahead and make a uh, chop suey with it. So, instead of just eating it by itself as just a blah dish, we're gonna oomph it up, make it a little more healthy, let's make it a little bit more hearty and nutritional and all these things so yeah so we have some carrots here that we're gonna accompany with the the pop choy or the bok choy i don't know if they're the same thing or what's the correct name but we gr i grew up calling it pop choy or pop cho i recently heard bok choy but whichever one yeah we're gonna be using that which is the traditional thing for pop for, for chop suey and then we're gonna add some carrots and of course you need your seasonings and all these things so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting up the chicken hold on wait a minute yeah this can go in the pan I come in. Hmm? Each you show them already. We have a combination of onions, purple and white onion, right here. All right, so I could try cut up the bird now. Of course, you know they always tie the legs for some reason, I guess to prevent it from being unruly. Use the scissors. Oh. oh, 
don't think I can manage this. So you want me to do it? Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. So for this exercise, you want to basically cut your chicken in half. All right. I'm just going to turn it so that I can get a good angle um, to cut my chicken. All right. All right. So you just want to start from the back and then you break through the breastbone and you go all the way into the back cavity and you just cut through. Now we, we bought this chicken last night at our lo local Sam's Club and all right well oh, we have the hatchet you know to cut the chopper should have gotten the chopper all right so you basically want to cut the chicken in half all right all right and we're basically gonna use the dark meat um of the chicken mm -hmm. get off all of the strings and stuff that ties the legs together mm -hmm. and then you're just going for the dark meat all right leg and tie so you have leg and tie pass out another container for me see and the reason why we're using the dark meat see just just pass the the reason why we're using the dark meat is because it is easier to to um do the chop suey with it because it retains a lot more of the moisture you know because the the breast meat will dry out all right so you want to put you want to um now you have your chicken set up you're gonna just basically get rid of all of this excess gel all of the gel is the juices that the, the chicken was in from you know when we bought it mm -hmm. so you're basically just gonna get all of that cleaned up and then you get a bowl to shred your chicken thighs hold on a minute good evening tanya good evening to you magdalene good evening good evening prayer kid big up on ourselves yes and i promised i wasn't gonna talk but you can see the situation not going out for go and don't involve yourself you know the next thing is that you used my designated vegetable board to cut chicken you realize that hmm? mm. so the bigger you one me a board. that's all you say you me a board. but that's not raw chicken i don't business i thought you just don't use raw chicken no meat to my thing all right let's get back to my thing now let me get you a container for your chicken So this container over here oh you have you're over here eating vegan food but you over here cut up chicken your backslide you need to repent to the vegan, vegan to the vegan god prayer kid where you get that from when <laughs> when did we ever make a prayer vegan kid. declaration prayer kid. gwendolyn duncan good evening to you new york's in the house Brooklyn's in the house. Welcome to you. Welcome, welcome. So you say I'm cutting up the chicken. Yeah, you're basically gonna shred it. Um, shred, shred, just shred it now to whatever you want it to be. I'm giving you a small knife, and you're gonna take the the thigh meat out mm -hmm. and just just shred it up. Oh, I had a wrong concept. I thought it was cubes or something like that. No, no cubes. Yeah, let me tell you. Let me show you guys. Bear, bear with us. We're trying to um, get the camera set. All right. So you basically want to take your your knife. I, let me just wash my hand, you know. No, I, I thought you were gonna mess up. No, no. Oh, okay. And you just basically want to you get the the excessive skin off and you just start fine pieces of chicken to put aside you understand guys just tear it like it? yeah i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna post it i, I soon come i soon deal with it 
see. Hello. Hmm? I'm showing you something. Okay. So, you're just basically going in for the meat, you know? Okay, so it's pretty much just shreds of yeah. chicken? Mm -hmm. Alright, I got it. Yeah, sure. Why don't you do it and let me cut up the veg? I, mean, I, I prefer cutting up the veg because I'm, I'm I'm a like a very good cutter vegetable cutter per person. Oh. So guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You know, give us a thumbs up if you like the repurposing videos. Let us know because we're trying to make it easier on people. You know when i mean these these chicken these are available in almost all major supermarkets and at four dollars and change basically five dollars for Can a, you believe that? A, a rotisserie chicken it would be it would be wrong for us to not tell you to buy it. we our channel is not catering to the super rich and even though we choose a, health, a healthier version of life um rotisserie chicken is way better than fried chicken if you want to compare um and then you can also add a ton of um additions to it you know to help bring it up like what we're doing here with the thigh meat and the leg meat mm -hmm. you know we're just gonna just re repurpose this to make a beautiful beautiful chop suey you know so if you like what we're doing and if you're one of those persons who come home late at night like in the evenings and you really don't want to go through the ex you know extra steps to go season up chicken and do all of that you know um it's it's you're going to see how quick this prepared and why, one of the reasons why we prepare it from scratch is also for that very purpose to show you that it can be done in in a certain level of time and then you have enough chicken for more than one day's dinner. Well, right. depending on the size of your family. But for like a family of three, this can be two days dinner. Right. If it's one person, you guys probably can eat this thing for multiple days, different ways, you know. You notice that rhyme? Multiple days, different ways. Multiple you can make days, sandwiches with days. it. Multiple days. You can use it to top your you know broth your soups you can add it to soups yeah, yeah. you can use it to make um chicken salad alfredo you know or a chicken dip mm -hmm. you know so you, there are so many ways to maximize it without consuming a vast amount of it in any single buy um go, go. yeah you know so joy seven good evening to you north carolina in the house charlotte Mm -hmm. Charlotte's in the house. Cheryl Barrett, good evening to you. Good evening to you. And guys, remember to share our page on your social media Please, as well. Please, you guys. We yeah. crave your support in that light. Mm -hmm. You know, let people know about Yadi Belly TV. It's not, it's not a, a, a super, super popular channel as yet, but we're doing our best. And you guys are helping immensely when you share. And also, if you are watching us and you have a product or a business that you want us to um, give a shout out to, DM us, you know, drop it in the in the DM, and so we can join you on that path, mm. yeah, and support each other, mm -hmm. yeah, man. And if you know any company where we need for endorse and them want pay me for endorse them them thing, yeah, well, it's it's a business, you know, we can make it so that it's profitable for both parties. Right, right, all right, right so that's good right there okay you guys so this is our chicken for the chop suey so this is enough right yeah man that's good mystery joy seven we're in connecticut are you can't find any jamaican or caribbean cruise people here mm. all right so now we're gonna move on to our come over here hmm? come over here So this is what we're going to also use to make our chop suey. Mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be a one pot meal. 
Yep. And we're using some egg noodles. noodles. Mm -hmm. And I think we will get this again at the Asian store. Yeah. So we just bought this at the Asian supermarket in our local Asian supermarket in the neighborhood. And we're going to see if we can use some. I don't think we need to use all of it. Mm -mm. All right. So you drop it in the boiling water. One of these. Like so. Drop it in the boiling water. Mm. And that's good, right? Yeah. One each. Yeah. One and then we just turn off the stove. And then cover it. Yeah. And we're just going to cover it. And you can substitute that with ramen. Mm -hmm. If you want to substitute that with ramen, you can substitute it with ramen. Or, yeah, you guys can use whatever you prefer. All right, so let's clean up the area now for the the suey part of the dish. Which you're going to, you can start with the chicken if you want now. You know. Okay. While I cut the vegetable, because I don't think nobody wants to see me cut vegetable, because that's boring. Blaze the fire. Go, go, go. Yeah. All right, so. It's not hot yet, it's wet. Okay, okay, cool. <clears throat> All right, so we're over here. Tanya, fried kid, LOL. They are vegan until them cook meat. As we always say, <laughs> we're vegan until we see meat, you guys. <laughs> yeah. So this is the pot we're using. We're using a Dutch pot because I feel like the Dutch pot can hold everything. We need to keep our breath all the time so that this thing don't overcook. It's one of those noodles that you think there. You just put it in the water and leave it for five minutes and then you're good to go with the stove off that is so yay and i think i want to use olive oil no use the other one use the oil blend olive oil blend okay i'm gonna use the olive oil blend instead mm -hmm. you hear the tune Let me set this camera down. Will you have Terry save them? Mm, okay. Terry. The same Terry. Just T E R R Y? Yep. Alright, so now we're going to pretty much. So, what am I doing with these? Just add the chicken and put some veggie yeah. seasoning? Yeah. Alright. Add a little oil to my pot. And this is um, uh, olive oil blend, you guys. Olive oil, sunflower oil. Add a little bit. It's not going to be fried, you know, right? It's going to be pretty much sauteed. The Shea Shop, good evening to you. Blessings to you, the Shea Shop. Thank you for logging on and joining us today. Mm -hmm. Say hello to the Shea Shop. Hi, Shea Shop. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Bobby Geach, good evening to you. I had Jamaican food in Florida one time, really enjoyed it. Had spicy chicken, adobe, or something like that. <laughs> Spicy chicken adobe. And if it's Jamaican, that it's not chicken like, adobe. It will be jerk chicken. That sounds like it must have been jerk chicken. <laughs> Cheryl, we're mostly vegan, yeah. <laughs> we're mostly vegan. Try Graham, good evening. Big up yourself, good people. Just came from the boxing. Thank you. Cooking dinner, I'm hungry. Diamond Kuga, good evening. Joshua! Could you hold this camera, please? Josh, the real is here, you guys. So, I'm soliciting his, his involvement. 
and he's gonna be the, the, the camera person, the go-to for this evening. All right, hold this on because I'm trying to do it, but it's not working out. All right, so the pot is fully hot. You can say good evening to the people. Good evening, everybody. Let me add the chicken. So this already cooked, you guys, as we already know. So I need my hair. <laughs> Diamond, you cougar, good afternoon. Winter break. Big up yourself. Black pepper. See, you have to stir it that you don't stick. It's sticking already. Look at the other and too hot pot. If it's sticking, it's real bad. Keep a little water. All right, so some garlic powder. What else is happy? Hmm? I can't understand. That's the third and the third and the third and the third and the third <laughs> a little bit of lorries. <laughs> he said, I will be watching and tell you what you are doing wrong. <laughs> oh, of course, as usual. Oh, see, you sure you don't want to do this? I will cut up the vegetables. Alright guys, so what we're trying to do now is deglaze this because we don't want it to stick, alright? So we're just going to throw a little water in there to get it, you know, off the bottom of the pot like that, alright? Because it is a little bit of, of sticking is good, but you don't want too much. Um, should have had a, a, had, it, had a little bit more oil from the jump, but we didn't. So yeah. So now we're getting it to where we want it. What we wanted to do was to get this to a certain level of, you know, crispiness. All right. What did you add already? See. She already put. Oh, never mind. She put this. No. Actually, I know her brother, Low Main. Her dad, General Sauce. I'm adding some compound sauce. This is for peanuts. Hmm? This is for peanuts. Because I use compound sauce, I have to put peanuts? Yes. Who said that? That's what you do. Alright, mm -hmm. let me add some thyme. Um, not, yeah, 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 if you have it, and guys, see how this look right now, don't worry about it, we're gonna get to the place where it, it look better, all right? <laughs> so you should have popped the sun in the kitchen because he's <laughs> black and Chinese. <laughs> Chinese. Yeah, try, yeah, all right guys, so watch this now, now we're gonna add in some of our greens, yeah? And this is where the stir fry aspect of it gonna come in now. We're just gonna add in our dump in our greens and fold in everything. Alright. Um bring up back the stove. If we had a wok, a wok, this would have been perfect with the wok, but we don't. So we are we are using our Alright. How this look guys? Look like it coming along? Good people where to find that pot. I can't find a good solid dust pot. Where are you located? Because if you go to a Latin American store, you know, like a Bravo or a Presidente, if you're in Florida, you may be able to find 
a good um, pot. See that, guys? Look how this thing has come up now. You see it? Oh, it looks like chop suey now, don't it? Yeah, man. Eggs. Eggs in chop suey? Yes. That's what eggs, they have. Not, eggs not going to chop suey. Search it up. I'm putting some sweet vinegar. I'm a sweet vinegar finish. This is sweetened black vinegar, and I got this at the Asian store. Search it. I'm putting a little bit of soy sauce. And I'm putting a little bit of toasted sesame seed oil. Alright. Let me see what the next thing we need to put in. Yes, yeah, you have it. Hill, You're in Lada Hill. Check, check um Presidente, or check Bravo. And and go around and see if you see it, round where they have pots and pans. And guys, this is pretty much done, you know. This is pretty much done. Yeah, chicken chop suey. I'm trying to see if I find any butter, but I'm not it's seeing any. Mm. I'm adding a little bit of butter. Tripping. That was ginger and garlic. And and that's pretty much it, you know, babes. What about them? I'm gonna put them up. And here is our noodles. And we're just gonna add our noodles and then fold in. Add a little more of our compo sauce just for that like a Chinese vibe tip a little water not buying no more chop suey more soy sauce. That's what somebody said. No? Yeah. Yes. Soy sauce? Barrington says sesame oil. I added sesame oil. See the soy sauce you just pick up a little bit. The other one finished. Sesame oil. No water. Hmm? Barrington said no water? Yeah. <laughs> sorry, Barrington. Sorry. <laughs> Kung Pao. Again. Oh, this is something I don't know. We are done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. And that's our green onion. Holy moly donut shop. And you want when you have a thing like this, a meal like this, you want to share it in a bowl. A bowl. So we're gonna just share some in a bowl. Always share noodles with 
the tongue. Mouth watering. Now yard it up with some jerk seasoning and scotch bonnet pepper. <laughs> Oyster sauce. Who was that? Somebody. Uh, Troy Graham. Barrington says add oyster sauce. Too late, shall be your cry. Next time. Next time, Barrington. It's the plating. that might have occurred when shearing and then you draw for your chopsticks and you do them like this in your bowl and dinner is served have ever ever have ever had to make the Jamaican egg roll hmm? have have ever Swing. have ever had a jerk chicken egg roll? No, we never had a jerk chicken egg roll. That's so yummy. Next time you swimp taste, you swimp, <laughs> you shrimp. Or oh, next time you well, if you missed the beginning of the video, you would have understood why we're using what we're using, Barrington. This is our d dinner hack. So we normally use things that we already have at home. So this is a rotisserie chicken we had in the fridge that we decided to use up to make yeah, today's dinner. Garnish with tomato wedges. <laughs> we don't have tomato wedges. We have these grape tomatoes though that we could have used. So we can use that in there. Yes. So this is it you guys. This is our dinner. This is our um what do you call it? This is our um dinner hack that we wanted to share with you guys. Get a cheap four dollar rotisserie chicken, get yourself any type of pasta and noodle, get yourself a uh a veg some vegetables of your choice. If you don't have pak chow, you could have used cabbage or Brussels sprouts, any type of cruciferous vegetables go on my girl would have been good for this dish yeah cruciferous so this Barrington, is you hear them words there <laughs> Barrington, talk to my wife yeah. cruciferous yes you guys so there you have it what is this called chicken chop suey rotisserie chicken chop suey mm -hmm. and we just have it served up with some Semi homemade rotisserie um, oh. chopsuey. Okay, semi homemade. Yeah. Don't forget to turn your hand make fashion. Use what you have in your kitchen, especially on a late evening when you come home and you don't know what to eat. You don't want to, but trust me, when you do not have um, the time to prepare a, a, a full out meal. You still don't want to compromise on your nutrition. You don't want to just grab a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You don't want to grab a hot dog. You want you, know, you understand me? You still want to eat something hearty and healthy at the same time and something that is nutritious and filling. So this is, you know, one of those things that you can do real quick. And trust me, there's no compromise with this meal still balanced still you know feeling healthy and all these things and cruciferous trust me linda i agree shrimp would do very good in this but chicken you have still look this the, yeah true 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 and you guys don't have to tell me twice when you come on to shrimp because i am a shrimp lover like big time shrimp lover and I feel like we're going to come with a, a shrimp dish pretty soon. We've been eyeing some big jumbo shrimp that we've been seeing. So we think we might buy them and do, do a little something something. 
Thank you, Amelie. Thank you, or Amil. So perfect. I love that one will be me tomorrow. Awesome, awesome. Tacos in the finished product. Yeah, Magdalene. When you make it, we would love if you post it on your Instagram and tag Yardy Belly TV so that we can know that you recreated one of one of our little dishes. You yeah? see it? You yeah, see me? You want to put this on? You can. Mouth watering. No, yeah, I did turn up some jerky. I can't put it in the Okay. All right. <laughs> Tanya said it's looking very crucy for us. I true, Tanya. <laughs> Tanya, you know, say so you love tech boots in. <laughs> you need to stop it. <laughs> it's very crucy for us to me. You love tech boots in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, man. So this is it, you guys. We just add a final touch. Who can talk to me? Oh, um, two hours to prepare and cook. Under 30 minutes. Rachel rating she have 30 minute meals. This is 30 minute meal. So how, how much time is it? 36 minutes. Wow, awesome. But with the bin done. Awesome. All right, you guys. It's time to dig in. So, until next time. And guys, remember, if you guys have a request that you have for us to cook, if you have something in mind that you would like to see us make, something that you would like to, to learn how to make, go ahead and drop the, the suggestion and we will try our best to create it for you guys. Yeah. And we have not done a, we have not done a confession video in a while, so look out for that maybe tomorrow or one of these days. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up, my family. Thumbs up, thumbs up. Anyway, guys, enjoy your Tuesday evening. It's late hours. We want to try eat the liquor food before 7 o'clock so that you can digest. So, what good? And we will talk to you the next time. Remember to log on on Thursday. You don't know if you're from Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. Thursday morning at 10 a.m. for our breakfast live. Yeah, no. Yazit. See you next video. All right, guys. Let me give you a last spin. Make one a dizzy. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. Have a good evening. Thanks for logging on. Love you guys. Bye.